baby, this is what you came for. Lightning strikes every time she moves. Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a prom makeup look and I know it might be a little late for prom season but if you do have a prom coming up then this look is for you. I think it's super universal and would go with a ton of dress options. Before I start the video I did want to mention that this is a collab with another girl on YouTube named Caitlin or Caitlin Emma X and I will have her channel listed below. She's absolutely gorgeous and so good at makeup and I'm just obsessed with her channel so definitely go ahead and send her some love and tell her that I sent you in the comments and if you are coming from her video make sure to subscribe to stay updated on my channel and be notified when I post a new video my hair I don't know I kind of did like is this prom I don't know anyways with that said let's just get right into the video hey guys okay so first off I want to say ignore my nails they are so disgusting and it bothers me so much when I don't have them painted in a video especially when I'm showing my hands a lot anyways um, so basically I'm just showing you guys what I use on my face and eyebrows to save a bit of time. So I just use my usual foundation and, um, primer and my eyebrow stuff. And all the products will be listed in the description below if you did miss anything. And then here I'm just priming my eyes with, uh, Sin from Urban Decay. And I also taped off my eyes so we can get a really nice clean look. And then I'm applying an old favorite, which is Bare Study, uh, what are those called again? It's a MAC primer and I just did that as a base and then I'm using my Lorac Pro palette and I'm putting the lightest um, shimmery shade on my lids and then I'm blending an orange shade into the crease. And this is my favorite transition shade. I always use it. This is from the Too Faced Semi Sweet Chocolate palette. And then moving back into my Lorac palette and taking the shade Pewter. It's kind of like a darker brown but it's shimmery and I'm adding that into the outer corners and then I'm just going back and blending with the orange shade and then here I'm taking a black matte black eyeshadow and I'm putting it on as if I was putting on eyeliner and just making sure to blend it out really well and then I'm starting to bring it into my crease and I'm kind of carving out exactly where I want it using an angled brush and then taking a clean brush and just blending and then of course I'm cleaning up anything with my lid shade that got lost and then I'm just making sure to blend so I'm going back in with that transition shade a lot and just making sure everything is really really well blended. And then I'm going with a matte cream shade underneath my brow bone and yeah I thought this would put a lot of shimmer so I went with a matte highlight up there and then I'm taking off my tape and I'm adding my concealer so I did my foundation but I left my concealer till after because I knew the tape would mess that up so here I'm just blending my concealer in with my fingers and it did a little bit of highlighting but it was mostly just to add some coverage underneath my eyes and then I'm going in with a powder and setting all of that this one's by Milani it's my favorite I always use it and then taking my shade and light palette I'm just using the bronzers um, I'm taking the middle one to bronze up my face so I like to do that before I actually contour just so I can bring a little bit of color back into my face I run it down my neck so everything is blending and matching really well and then I'm going to take a smaller brush with the ashy shade and actually contour and sculpt out my cheekbones and temples and my jawline as well. And then I'm also putting a little bit on my nose, but it kind of made my nose, at least on camera, look like kind of dirty. So sorry about that. And then I'm also taking um, one of the lighter shades and running it down the center of my nose. And then I'm taking an old time favorite blush, which is Milani Luminoso. And... This is great for this look because I wanted to keep the cheeks just kind of nice and glowy. So I'm also adding a highlight, which is just an eyeshadow from the Too Faced palette. And I love this as a highlight, actually. It's so pretty and it smells like chocolate. And then I'm just taking a big fluffy brush and kind of blending everything out. And then I'm going in with lipstick. So I'm taking this Wet n Wild one and then I'm adding a NYX Butter Gloss. And then I forgot that I didn't finish my eyes, so I'm going back and adding a gold underneath the lower lash line. This one is just from the Lorac palette, and then I'm also adding my black in, and then I'm just taking a clean brush and kind of blending it out. 
And then I'm taking a gold eyeliner and running that along my waterline. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and curl my eyelashes and add a little bit of mascara to my top and bottom lashes. And I don't need to go crazy with this because I am adding false lashes and here I put that a little bit on my eye and I actually just left it there because if you let it dry then you can just wipe it away with q-tips that's why there's like a big black dot on my face but anyways here I'm going in with a uh, black eyeshadow to cover up the lash band if it's noticeable at all in any of the glue and here is the completed look I hope you guys enjoyed it guys so that is the finished look I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I did want to thank you guys so much for watching as always leave comments and requests in the description bar below and I'll see you in my next video so weird okay Whew.